Amid waves of the coronavirus pandemic and crippling U.S. sanctions, Iran's economy is shrinking and witnessing losses just weeks before the country is set to resume the nuclear deal talks with six world powers. Iran's currency, Rial, declined by nearly 2.8% in the past week, bringing the total amount of losses in the last six months to 31.5%. The most affected by the inflation are businessmen and traders who are forced to buy foreign currencies and gold for sustenance. Pardon, the hotter in the Polish will be under the Sahot Mikone, Pula Melida Remia Twain, Majur Michan be on dollar the Harano, Arzai Horiji, or not Halo. Anama have to have to show them Serus Serus and Tagre and Matoro, Musha de Mikonim, by in Fado, Moskil, Voran. ان سجامش واقعا زیاد میشه که خودشون هم میگه دستشون در میره و غیر قابل کنترل میشه در حقیقت The slump in economy comes after the US reimposed sanctions on Iran after the American exit from the 2015 nuclear deal the Iranian currency lost nearly 70% of its value following the double punishment the currency plunge has forced the central bank to act pumping hundreds of millions of dollars into the market to stabilize the Iranian currency Economists say dire actions are needed from the government to avert further crisis. اگر روند تورمی کشور ما و عدم تغییر روند بهره‌وری ما، عدم چابکی و چالاکی دولت ما رخ ندهد و دارایی‌ها و صنایع ما به صورت سودآور و مؤثر در اقتصاد ملی ظاهر نشوند قطعا این روند کاهش ارزش پول ملی و به تبع اون کاهش افزایش نرخ دلار ادامه داد خواهد بود A former deputy of Iran's central bank criticized the conditions set by Iran ahead of the nuclear talks. Iran had sought the United States not to withdraw from the 2015 nuclear agreement and lift the sanctions. It is not just Iran. The economies of Pakistan and Turkey have also taken massive hits. These countries, just like Iran, remain on the fate or the FATF grey list for failing to curb terror financing. Calls for Pakistan Prime Minister Imran Khan to resign have intensified amid the economic crisis and soaring prices. The inflation in Pakistan is the fourth highest in the world. Low productivity and high import dependency has caused the price inflation. The rupee closed at an all-time low at 175.73 rupees compared to the US dollar last week. Pakistan's currency has lost more than 13% of its value since May this year. Unrest and bloodshed in neighboring Afghanistan and uncertainty of its future has also impacted Pakistan's trade with the country. The State Bank of Pakistan's decision to curb imports and purchase of US dollars has also failed to arrest the decline. Saudi Arabia has promised to place safe deposits of nearly three billion US dollars with the Pakistan State Bank, along with supply of oil worth nearly 1.2 billion for the next year. However, this is expected to be a temporary solution. Meanwhile, Turkey saw massive protests amid the country's budget presentation. The Turkish currency is the worst performer in emerging markets this year, along with a double-digit inflation. As per experts, the condition of the economy is propelled by President Rasip Tayyip Erdogan's lack of policy credibility.